The Oni have been through a lot to get to where we are today. And look at us now, living peacefully alongside the humans. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's still plenty of people out there who've got a bone to pick with us. Hmm? Change? Oh, yeah. Oh, things are gonna change, all right. You can count on that. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, it won't involve any sucking up to the humans on my part. Nuh-uh. I'm gonna let my actions do the talking. They'll come to respect me eventually. Some of the boys have been telling me that he was the star of the show at the Vision Hunt ceremony. I'm like, are you kidding me? How come he gets his own special ceremony? Was the 100th Vision supposed to be, like, stronger than the other 99 or something? I Nah, that can't have been it, cause, <laughs> hello, they would have chosen me if that's what they were going for. <laughs> I only wish I could have met Ayato sooner. He really taught me something. You can kindle the warrior spirit even in the weakest of bugs. Yep, I really took that one to heart. If it weren't for those words of wisdom, I'm pretty sure I would have given up beetle fighting after losing for the 780th time. <laughs> Yeah, I guess sometimes it takes a warrior to understand a warrior. When we're playing trading card games or battling beetles, we're always totally on the same wavelength. Huh. She's always showing off her fancy fireworks and toys to the kids. Well, I'm sick of it. Nobody steals my thunder. I'm the one who's supposed to be adored by the kids. Me! And that goes for you, too. You're siding with me on this, okay? Huh? What do you mean you're not a kid? Details. If you're shorter than me, you're a kid as far as I'm concerned. Word on the street is that he blocked the Muso no Hitotachi after you escaped from Tenchukaku. Seriously? Because, I mean, that is awesome. <laughs> Who knows how he pulled it off? Hey, now that I think about it, he's from a fallen clan, and I'm from a fallen clan. That kind of makes us equals, huh? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, next time someone attacks you, it's my turn to block the blade. During the Vision Hunt decree, the Shogun had to send her top Tengu in person to get my vision off me. <laughs> I mean, she must have found me to be quite the pain in the neck. But, you know, she's abolished the Vision Hunt decree now, so no hard feelings, I guess. As long as she's learned her lesson, of course. Because if she pulls something like that again, this old pain in the neck will be back with a vengeance. I crushed that Kitsune ramen eating contest we had. Even all that fried tofu couldn't stand in my way. <laughs> she didn't come close to beating me. I was uh, bedridden for more than a month after that. But you know what? I'd rather lie in bed a winner than walk away a loser. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, I had the last laugh because she had to put the bill for 32 bowls of noodles. Ha ha! You know what? <sighs> Yeah, she beat me during the Vision Hunt decree. I'm not ashamed to admit it. When you lose, you admit defeat. And when you screw up, you take it on the chin like a man. A and anyway, let's not forget which one of us won't agree to a rematch. Her, the Tengu warrior. It's just a sumo street fight. I mean, what's she so afraid of? If she keeps snubbing me, I'm gonna have to stop calling her Cujo Tengu and start calling her Cujo Chicken. B -b -b <laughs> we'll see what she thinks of that. Oh, yeah, the doggy general in the resistance. Hey, I've got to hand it to him. He may be on the small side, but he's got quite the fighting spirit. Also, he gives off this vibe that makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Almost as if he understands my innermost feelings. I mean, I barely met the guy, so it's kind of weird. Nobody questions my leadership in the gang. What I say goes. Except when it comes to Shinobu. She's always challenging everything I say. And not only that, all the hard-earned loot I bring back and share with everyone, she goes and returns it. But also, she gets me out of jail and out of every mess we get ourselves into, so I'll let it slide. Besides, I don't want to get on her bad side. An angry Shinobu would make my life a nightmare. <sighs> all I did was give her a little pat on the head this one time when she wasn't looking, and now she pounces to attack every time she lays eyes on me. What can I say? Tanuki are adorable. What am I supposed to do? Not pat one on the head? Oh, yeah, and that's the other thing. She beats you up for calling her a Tanuki, too. What's up with that? I mean, a Tanuki's what she's going for, right? Sheesh. Talk about getting your fur all ruffled over nothing. I know what you're thinking. I don't see it. How did this guy get to become the boss of the Arataki gang on the back of beetle fighting and trading card games? Well, you're right. Those are just child's play. Want to know the hard skills that really got me where I am? 
eating ramen standing upside down, sleeping with my eyes open, playing the harmonica with my nose, and swatting house flies with my hair. Yeah, I know. Bet you see it now, huh? People in Inazuma have this ritual every time there's a, a holiday or they move or get sick or whatever, where they throw beans around and chant, Fortune beans are falling down. Send the Oni out of town. Fortune in, Oni out. Fortune in, Oni out. Ugh, the chant gets worse every time I hear it. But the street's full of beans with my allergies? Total disaster. I gotta fix this for every Oni out there. We're innocent, people. Quit trying to ward us off and drive us out every time there's a minor life event. In a attempt to end human prejudice toward the Oni, I had the gang use a camera to take a picture of me showing my softer side and stick it to the message board in Inazuma City. Next thing we know, some jerks have graffitied all over it. Ah, uh, mm, mm, mm. Then, some Ashigaru blockheads from the Tenryo Commission accused me of disrupting the peace. Next, it was the Yashiro Commission, complaining it ruined the atmosphere in the area. And finally, even the Kanjo Commission got involved. They sent some lackeys over, demanding advertising tax. Ugh, they have no idea who the bad guys are here. In the Arataki gang, we're proud to welcome people who've experienced adversity in their lives. Don't listen to the people who call us freaks or weirdos. Every member of my gang is like family to me, and they all feel the same way. Whatever happens, the gang will face it together, both the highs and the lows. I gotta respect the Blue Oni for sacrificing themselves so that the Crimson Oni could live on. In principle, though, I'm absolutely against it. No one should have to sacrifice their own kind for the sake of a better tomorrow, period. It's only a better tomorrow if it's a better tomorrow for everyone. We need to work together, not have everyone just focused on themselves, making their own sacrifice, trying to look cool in the process. Eh, I guess there's no change in the past. What's done is done. But from this day forward, no more sacrificing. Not on my watch. You go to sacrifice yourself, I'll stand right in your way. The sweet, sweet taste of victory.